and see robot of Kepati Patsen in Kaya Kaya Shaving Cream. Being smart but not wise um, is useless. My name is Kimberly Graham. I'm from Chup, Micronesia, and I'm a teaching principal at Uckley Place School. My mom was Chenina Rudolph, and my dad is Clark Graham, and I'm the third of three children, and we were all homeschooled at an early age. Um, I then went on to Xavier High School, and I attended Hawaii Preparatory Academy on the Big Island. Um, afterwards, I got my degree in social work at the University of Guam. And then I was accepted into the advanced standing program for the master's in social work at the University of Hawaii, where I got my master's. Um, so in 2013, I was in a publication, my Asian sports legend, for my, I guess, my longtime commitment and love to sports in Micronesia in 2018. I was um, part of the Young Pacific Leaders Conference in Hawaii. And in 2019, I attended the Indigenous Women's Forum at the United Nations in New York. My parents, they instilled in me uh, at an early age the importance of getting a good education, of a good work ethic, of being respectful and helping those that are less fortunate. I'm forever grateful to them for giving me the necessary tools to become who I am today, a responsible young woman to be able to better myself and those around me. Okay, so definitely my family does inspire me. They've always been my inspiration, um, my friends, my community, my state and my nation. Um, my mother and my late brother have and always will be my role models. Um, their selfless acts of kindness and hearts of service is something that inspires me and motivates me to keep going and doing what I'm doing as a way of continuing their dreams. Um, like I mentioned earlier, I am the principal at a Klikwe school and it was founded by my dad and my late brother. In our family, education is a really big thing. And we feel that by giving these kids a chance at a good education, it provides them the opportunity to pursue dreams and goals that they would otherwise not have. My family is a big, big part of my motivation and definitely what inspires me to follow in their footsteps. Homesickness, that was a big challenge for me when I went off to college for the first time. I went to California and it was a huge change um, than Chu or Hawaii. So having to get out of my comfort zone at that time was something that I really didn't want to do. So I ended up um, actually withdrawing from that school. And then it took me actually seven years to go back to college. And that was after my brother passed in 2012. Um, so that was the motivation for me to go back to school. In 2019, when I was pursuing my master's in social work, my mother passed away the same year. So that was a huge challenge for me as well. But um, I was able to push through because it was what she would have wanted me to do. Wanted me to do. Um, she was actually the one that encouraged me to apply to the program. I didn't want to leave because I saw that she was, you know, getting weaker, but she persuaded me to apply. And then I got accepted and I had to go away. So that was a huge challenge. Well, um, I'm not an expert, but I do know that 
you have to find something that you're passionate about. Um, you have to find your niche or where you fit in and you definitely have to do something that you're happy to do uh, and to make sure that you always try your best in everything that you do um, to treat others the way that you would want to be treated and also to be kind and do good and a tricky thing that my mom used to tell me is um, they said oh what being smart but not wise um, is useless. So you have to be smart and wise at the same time. Um, so to young Chukis women, I guess, or Micronesian women, uh, we come from a long line of strong um, matriarchs. So it's our duty to pass on the torch that they have given to us and make sure it burns brightly for the next generation.